Go get the doctor, quick. Well, there's this much about it. Whoever shot Ben did it for the same reason as men tried to rob Smiley and me, to make sure the homesteaders go broke. Now, I suppose you think I did it. Did I say I did? No, but... He's still alive, that's all the doctor would tell me. Look what the doc got out of his back. That looks like a slug from a buffalo gun. Hey, that's a rare weapon around these parts. I don't believe I've ever seen one. I'll let you have a look at it when I find it. Steve, looks like Sam's a scum on a water hole, don't it? Yeah. You better keep an eye on him, Smiley. You're supposed to be neutral, but it's as plain as day that you're siding with those nesters. I've written the governor telling him about you, and if there's one more raid on our property, we'll run you and the homesteaders out of this valley for good. Reynolds, you sound like you can prove the homesteaders are to blame. We don't need any proof. Them sod busters are taking it out on us because of what happened to Thebold. So? Then who shot Thebold? He was a homesteader himself. You're not gonna pin that on the ranches. I haven't seen one of these for years. Old time buffalo gun, eh? That rifle hasn't been off of my wall in three years. You keep it nice and clean and well oiled. I keep all my artillery oiled. Well, now, next time you write to the governor, give him my regards. As for hitting back at the homesteaders, you better think twice before you start something you won't find easy to finish. the idea you was gonna arrest Reynolds when you saw that buffalo gun. Why didn't you? Anybody could have borrowed that gun long enough to use it, Smiley. Oh. Like Craig, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Where are you going? I'm gonna have a look around the range. stirred up again against the ranchers. Places. What's the big idea? I ain't done nothing. 
Nothing except help stampede a herd of cattle. Climb on your horse. Not one of my men. He doesn't work for any of the other ranchers either. And he isn't a homesteader. Does that mean anything to you? It means he's working for the sidewinder that's trying to run all the homesteaders out of the valley, just like Steve told you this morning. Sit down. Sit down. Now, who hired you and those other men? Look, mister, if you're smart, you'll start talking right now, because I'm holding you for the murder of Jim Durant. I didn't kill him. So he is dead. Who did it? You're a fool to protect someone higher up who won't raise a finger to help you. You'll hang, Frazier. You haven't got a chance. Now, who was it? It was... this time, you killer. Killer? Me? Have you gone out of your mind, Smiley Burnett? A man was just shot in Reynolds' house by someone who fired through the side window. Well, it wasn't me. I heard the shot as I was passing and hurried on down here to see what was going on. Yeah, uh, that's what the guilty ones always say. Well, it's the truth, you chippering baboon. If I shot anyone, where's the gun I used? You don't see it on me, do you? You could have hit it someplace, couldn't you? Well, then have a look. That won't be necessary. Me, a killer. I like that. <laughs> you ain't gonna let him get away, are you, Steve? We can't lock him up on suspicion. I've been pretty blind, I guess. I'm convinced now that the homesteaders are not to blame for what's been happening to the ranchers. Good. Now maybe you'll give the homesteaders some help. They certainly could use it. Does Steve have any idea who's behind all this trouble? Oh, yeah, but we can't prove nothing. But I'll get the deadwood on them. You wait and see. They can't fool Smiley Sherlock Holmes Burnett. Core to me. Ah, uh, just go show how dumb you are. My pop's got a whole barrel full of clues at home. He makes cider out of them. Look where you're standing. I bet you're covering up a lot of important tracks. What well, are tracks good for? Well, they're clues too. Shucks, you can't make cider out of tracks. Well, who said anything about making cider out of tracks? You did. You said apples were clues, and you said tracks were clues. I said... Why don't you go get lost? You're bothering me. Hallelujah, I got him dead to rights now. All I gotta do is make a cast of that footprint and see if his boot will fit it. Maybe you first better see if those tracks fit your boots. Don't you think I even know my own footprints when I see them? Nope. You've been walking around in a circle. Can you imagine that? Mistaken me for the killer. Me, 
I'd like to sue Smiley Burnett for that. I'll tell you what. Oh, Marshal, I'd like a word with you. Certainly. I'm not going to stand by and let you and Smiley make a lot of false accusations about my father. I've accused no one officially as yet. It doesn't have to be official. Know where you stand. Look, Miss Little John, if you've any information that'll help clear your father, I'll be more than glad to listen to you. If you had eyes to see with, you'd know who's behind the trouble. Who is it? Reynolds. What is it, Chips? Smiley found this in back of the Reynolds house, but he threw it away. Oh, that ain't nothing. It's just a tip off of somebody's old cane. Smell it. Gunpowder. How far away from the house do you find it, Smiley? About five or six feet. You don't know nothing about it. I figured that might be pretty important, so I took some rapid calculations, and I figured it was seven feet, three inches. Anybody else in town use a cane besides Little John? Not that I know of. Well, looks like we have a customer for the jail. What's the matter, Steve? More trouble? No, oh, just dropped in to have a look at your cane, Sam. Have a look at my cane? You don't uh, mind, do you? No, of course not. Uh, uh, Jesse, get my cane, will you please? Thank you. What little gun you got here, Sam? Big enough to kill a buffalo. That's what you used to shoot Thebold and kill Frazier. No, no, not Daddy. Couldn't he? This is some trick of Reynolds. I don't know whether it's Reynolds or not. But with me, you're barking up the wrong tree. Not according to this? Why, it's not my cane. It looks like You'll my... have a chance to prove that at your trial. Well, let's not have any trouble. But... Come on. I just heard about your father, Jancy, and I can't tell you how sorry I am. You're as sorry. You've been behind all those killings and you know it. You planted that gun cane in Dad's office just to frame him. She's all wrought up, Marshal. She doesn't know what she's saying. Uh, from now on, if there's anything I can do, I hope you'll call on me. Thanks. That may be sooner than you think.